Hi, I'm Dave Nolette, and I'm with the Justice Education Society of British Columbia. And we're an organization that really is quite different from all of you. Uh, we have three different divisions, and none of those divisions provide legal aid services. Uh, our vision is really to uh, help build the legal capability of individuals as well as to improve the capacity of justice systems. This is our family law website, and ultimately it's a website, a family law resource like no other. Right now we're developing this with localized versions of the site for 14 different regions, and my presentation today is to answer the question why, what makes families change so popular? Well, when we developed the site, we worked with family counselors, youth counselors, psychologists, lawyers, parents, teens, and kids, and the result was three separate age-appropriate guides to separation and divorce, one for kids ages 6 to 12, one for teenagers, and one for parents. What you see here on the screen is actually some screenshots from uh, the teens and the parents sites, and it includes uh, Changeville, an online game. And so, uh, sorry, I'm out of sync here. Sorry for that. Um, so ultimately, yes, sorry, Changeville, the online game. And it allows kids to explore the town of Changeville and discover their feelings. And here's some excerpts from some of the sites. My friends and I are going to be telling you some things about what happens when parents decide not to live together anymore. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'll be talking to you about some of the reasons why parents decide not to live together anymore. So the Kids Guide in Changeville provides some basic legal terms, but more importantly, they talk about things like changes, feelings, and where to go get help. And the information is presented in a fun and engaging way. Many kids don't want their parents to divorce. Some kids have mixed feelings about it, especially if they know their parents weren't happy together. It's perfectly normal to have different feelings in your head at the same time. So here there's positive messaging through the video and there's a word puzzle to do and the word puzzle includes words like sad, angry and confused. Dad, I need ten dollars for the field trip tomorrow. Ten dollars? Do you think I'm made of money? Why didn't you ask your mother? How does this boy feel about the money situation? So this scenario is from Breakup Street where we talk to kids about being caught in the middle and there's activities there with helpful suggestions as well. And the next two slides are screen captures from the teen guide and from the parents guide. And once again, there's some baseline legal information, but the content is focused on changes, on feelings, communication, uh, and on problem solving. Families Change was popular in British Columbia, and uh, it was only in that province, and then ultimately things changed when we got a call from California. They said they liked the site, they were interested in having one for themselves, and so here you see it on the screen. It's virtually identical, uh, but we've produced it for California now, and it's available in English as well as Spanish. And so this year, we'll become a, Families Change will become a national website in Canada. We're producing local versions for each of the provinces, as you see on the right, and it'll be in English and French. And here in the U.S., you've seen the California site, and we're also building it out for Connecticut, Maine, Vermont, as well as Utah. And one of the reasons that Families Change is so popular is, in fact, uh, because of what it's not. And it's not a how to separate and divorce website. Uh, the truth is you all have websites that do a much better job of helping lead people through the process of separation and divorce. It's not that. The success of Families Change really is that it provides age appropriate information about separation and divorce that goes beyond the law. It helps kids and teens and parents deal with emotional and psychological realities of a family breakup. So that means for kids it talks about living in two homes and that it's okay to feel sad. For teens it talks about how they can help and that it's not their fault. And for parents it talks about talking to the children and how to keep them out of the conflict. The site content, the images, the activities, it all does this in a way that's positive, respectful, inclusive, and engaging. And so now the site continues to evolve, and um, for the New England people, for California, this is the new look of the site. Uh, it's a, an improved website design that we're working on now. Um, we have maintained the theme through this new responsive design, and what that means is it'll be accessible 
uh, for internet connected devices. It'll be mobile friendly. And it's all Drupal, by the way. Um, and we're going to use IP recognition to get users to the right content. A drop down menu will let them choose a different location, a different state if that's needed. All of the Canadian provinces will be built out on familieschange.ca. Uh, for US states, uh, we're building out familieschange.org. And for the sake of easy promotion, we use subdomains. So for example, a state like Connecticut would be ct.familieschange.org. In terms of customizing, we provide Word documents of the content. We get information back like this. It's been modified. We also want the states to provide links to their own family law resources. So ultimately, this is a page that's been modified, and this has California content on that page. Now, I think we can all agree that emotionally, psychologically, the experience of separation and divorce is largely the same for kids, teens, and parents, regardless of where they live. It's sad, it's confusing, it's hard. The feelings are universal and that family's change content really doesn't change much from state to state. But for each state, what does need to change is the information about the law and where to get help. So that's how we customize the site and that's part of the reason for the success. It's much easier for us to customize a local version for your state than it is for you to produce that site on your own. So if you're interested in having families change in your state, my contact information is provided there. And wouldn't it be great if families change was a national resource here in USA as well? Thank you.